After pulling the plug, the red guy, the yellow guy, and the duck went to a different dimension where they all became their favorite colors like they wanted to do as they were being creative, and they never ever dared through the media ever again. The end. Wow. Don't hug me, I'm scared it was the best story I've ever read. All six chapters all had a meeting. Well, I think it's time for me to go to sleep now. Oh, is that the doorbell? Who could be visiting my house at this time of night? Uh, come in. Well, good evening there, Patrick. SpongeBob, what are you doing here at 8 o'clock at night? Well, I just wanted to come to check on you to see if you're gonna sleep well tonight. SpongeBob, you know me, I always sleep well. Well, I'm just checking on you because I don't want you to go have your, your little night crises again. I don't have a night crisis! Uh, yes you did, Patrick. But the last time you, you couldn't sleep because you had nightmares and whatnot? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. Now can you please leave? Come on, Patrick, I'm just checking up on you. Look, you're not my mom, you're not my dad. I don't want you to come up here checking on me to see if I'm gonna sleep well. Now get out of here! Okay, Patrick, I guess I'll see you in the morning then. Yeah, whatever. Can't believe it, my best friend comes to my house at 8 o'clock at night just to check on me to see if I'm gonna sleep well. Who do you think he is, my mother? Well, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep now. Well, I'm not gonna worry about Spongebob too much, cause he ain't the boss of me. Well, it's time to get off my lap now. You know what, Gary? I'm starting to worry about Patrick. Cause every time I feel like he's sleeping, I always feel like he's gonna have up a nightmare, or he's gonna go out doing something crazy. That's why I'm thinking about staying up for the whole night. Well, I think Patrick was right. I don't think I need to worry about him too much. Well, I think it's time for us to go to sleep now, Gary. I'll talk to you in the morning. Good night, Gary. Patrick needs advices when he's sleeping. What is that awful pounding sound? I'm trying to get some sleep over here. I better go out there and see who it is. Patrick, what are you doing out here? You're supposed to be in bed sleeping. Ugh. Grabby Patties, where are you? Get in my stomach! Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Uh, Patrick, your house is to your left, not over there! Patrick, where are you going? Oh my goodness, I know what's going on with Patrick. He's sleepwalking! That's like by far the most dangerous way to sleep. Oh no, I better go out there and stop him before he gets into trouble. But I can't do it by myself. Uh, who is smart enough can help me with the situation? Sandy, she knows what to do. But I can't wake her up at this time of night. Well, I don't care. I need to stop Patrick from getting into this type of situation. Don't worry, Patrick. We'll save you. Oh no, she's already sleeping. Sandy, wake up. This is your best friend, SpongeBob. This is a really serious situation I'm going through right now. Oh no, she's not waking up! Uh, oh, I got it! I know one thing that will definitely wake her up! Hello there, Miss Cheeks, it's your arch nemesis, Dirty Dan. I've returned to visit your tree dome to get revenge on you. Now if you don't wake up, I'm gonna steal all your acorns. How about that? You touch one of my acorns, you're gonna get a bullet to your nutsack. Whoa, Sandy, calm down, it's me! SpongeBob, I'm not really Dirty Dan! SpongeBob, what are you doing in my house? Well, before you go insane, I waken you up for a very serious reason. Now, please put down the bazooka. Alright, but it better be important, because I'm really tired right now. Okay, Sandy, since I got your uninvited attention, I just wanted to let you know that I found Patrick sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? Why is he sleepwalking? 
I don't know. I mean, I was sleeping, and then I heard some thumping noise going on, and I'm welcome, and I saw Patrick sleepwalking. And we need to go out there and stop him before he gets into trouble. Well, we can't just let Patrick sleepwalk out there. We might end up getting in trouble. That's what I just said, Sandy. So what are we going to do? We can't just stand here and do nothing. Well, the only type of transportation that we have right now is my car, for which I will get in a few seconds. Oh, good. Because we need to stop this right now before Patrick gets into trouble. I mean, he can end up bumping into something, or he might end up falling off a cliff. We can't let that happen. That's why we're going to get my car for it. Okay, well, go ahead and get your car so we can get on going before Patrick gets into trouble. Alright, so according to the fuel tank, we got enough fuel for us to last throughout the whole night. Oh, that's good. Alright, it's time to stop Patrick from sleepwalking and getting into trouble. Lord, Sandy, we don't have no time to waste. Well, Sandy, looks like we're at the suburban part of the bikini bottom. Um, so I don't think we're supposed to be out here. What are you talking about? We gotta save Patrick from, from sleepwalking. Yes, I know, but can we do this tomorrow or something? Have you lost your everlasting mind? What do you make you think we're gonna wait till tomorrow to stop Patrick from sleepwalking? I'm just saying that because we're not supposed to be in this type of area. I don't care, Sandy. Patrick is sleepwalking, he can get into trouble. Well, I understand that. Aren't you gonna just... So what, you're just gonna give up? Is that what you're saying? Uh, no, I'm just saying that we should get out of here. No, I think we should continue driving until we find Patrick. Um, I see him right now. What are you talking about? He's walking on some power lines. <gasps> oh my god, I just see Patrick walking on power lines. Patrick, what are you doing? Hey, this is not the Krusty Krab. Oh, where am I? Don't worry, Patrick, I'm coming for you. Uh, SpongeBob, where are you going? Patrick, don't you worry, buddy. I'm gonna climb up those power lines and get you down there so you won't get electrocuted. SpongeBob, I suggest you better not do this. Sandy, I don't care, I gotta save Patrick. Alright, climb, 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 climb. Don't worry, Patrick, I'm almost there. Alright, Patrick, I'm here to save you from up here. Oh, where am I? You're on power lines, Patrick, come down here. Oh, this ain't the crusty crap. Um, Patrick, oh, don't jump off the power lines! No! Oh, Patrick, you're in big trouble now! Oh no! I'm stuck in the power lines! Sandy, come out here and save me! Ah! Uh oh, it looks like SpongeBob just got electrocuted. I better go out there and check on him. Yo, SpongeBob, you okay? Uh, is it look like I'm okay? You see I'm fried up, right? Yes, I see that, but Patrick's going the other direction. What do you mean he's going the other direction? He's going behind you. <gasps> what? Well, we better suggest us to go inside that car, and we're gonna go out there and save Patrick right now, because this is getting way too overboard. I agree. Let's go ahead and get in my car, and let's continue catching up with him. Huh. <sighs> Good idea. Hey, Spongebob, do you think we should listen to music? Sandy, at a time like this, we don't have no time to listen to music. Oh, okay. Look, Sandy, we got Patrick behind our tails. I know, but where is he going? I have no idea. Wherever he goes, we must follow. So it appears Patrick slept walked his way all the way here to Goo Lagoon, and he's not moving. So I think this is our chance to go out there and take him to bed. Yep, why don't you go out there, Spongebob? That's what I was planning to do anyway. Away from us now, Patrick. All right, Patrick, it's time for you to go home and take a nap. Oh, where am I? Where's all the voices coming from? Is this the Krusty Krab? Patrick, they're not the Krusty Krab. You're in Gula Goo. Time for you to go home and take a nap, buddy. Oh, I'm going to go somewhere. Else. Uh, Patrick, where are you going? We're supposed to take you home so you can go to sleep. Oh my, Neptune is a giant fire-breathing sea plant! I cannot get out of here! Ah, he's burning me to a crisp! Hello, oh, SpongeBob, what happened? Why are you all crisped up like that? I was about to get Patrick into the fire-breathing plant, came from the ground, and he toasted me with his fiery breath! I'm tired of messing around, Sandy! Why don't you do something? I am trying to do something. No, you're not. You're making me do all the dirty work while you're just standing there not helping me out. Well, you called me up. I know that, but we need to catch Patrick, like, for real this time. Do you have, like, a machine or a device or something? Well, I have something in my trunk. <gasps> then why did it just hit? Sandy, why could you? Well, calm down. Let me show you what I got in the back of the trunk. It will help us catch Patrick. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Let's say hello to my fishing rod. A fishing rod? It's not an invention or anything? Nope, I just bought a fishing rod earlier in the week, and I wanted to use it to catch Patrick with. Then how come you didn't use it while we were driving to catch Patrick up? Well, I didn't want to spoil it out to you. Oh, oh what are you going to do with that thing? When we catch up to Patrick, I'm going to give it to you, right? And then I want to reel Patrick in so we can reel him to the back of the trunk so we can take him home. Sandy, you are really smart. I think that's a good idea. But have you seen where Patrick went? Well, yes. When I 
when you got crisp, burnt to a crisp, you was going to leave, you was leaving towards Gulu. He's probably heading home right now. <gasps> How you know he's heading home? Um, that's a lucky guess. Well, let's go out there and catch Patrick, because it's about to become daylight pretty soon. I agree. Let's go out there and catch him right now. Ice cream is delicious on a hot summer's day. Krabby Patty! Here he is, Sandy. Patrick, we have the ice cream party. Are you ready to crack up that fishing rod now? Oh, you bet I am. Okay, SpongeBob, give it your best shot. Oh, I've been fishing for years, Sandy. And you're about to see my awesome fishing techniques. Okay, here goes nothing. All right, I got Patrick hooked up to the rod. Time for me to reel him in. Oh, ice cream. You're the best thing to ever slip it down my esophagus. Marry me! Oh no, Ice Cream! I can't leave you! No! Yes, Sandy, we finally did it! We finally reeled Patrick into the car now! Yep, and it's all thanks to you. Nope, Sandy, don't thank me. Thank you for the rod. Now let's go check on him to see if he's okay back there. Well, it looks like Patrick's having a blast sleeping behind that car. Yep, he looks pretty knocked out to me. Well, Sandy, I think it's time for us to call it as quits. Mission accomplished. Yep, SpongeBob, mission accomplished. Now let's go home now and get some rest. Yep, but first we gotta take Patrick home first. That's a good thing. Alright, Sandy, on the count of three, we're gonna lift Patrick, put him on his bed. Alright? Okay. One, two, three. Yeah! Well, Sandy, we did it. We brought Patrick home from the sleepwalk. And now he's sleeping safely in his bed. I'm really tired. I'm tired, too. We spent half of the night trying to stop Patrick from sleepwalking. Uh, I think we're just going to sleep right in front of his bed. And we'll wake up probably till the next day or so. I agree, SpongeBob. I'm really tired. <sighs> Oh boy, thank goodness this morning. Time for me to wake up and make some flapjack. Wait a second. Why are you SpongeBob and Sandy sleeping at my house? I didn't know I was having a sleepover. Well, I don't want to wake them up because they might get kind of cranky. Well, I might as well let them sleep here then for the next hour or so. Well, good night, SpongeBob and Sandy. I'll just go eat breakfast at the Waffle Hut. Well, off I go.